Hi friends, welcome to our channel. Today uh, we are going to discuss about the dial gauges, plunger dial gauges or dial indicators, lever dial gauges, how it is calibrated in a, with, uh, by using a, a universal measuring machine. It's, called, it's a metroscope and shortly it is uh, been called as ULM. It's, uh, the least count of ULM is 0.1 micron, it's a very accurate machine. Uh, it is used for calibrating dial gauges, especially plunger dial gauge, lever dial gauge, port dial gauge, and thread and plug gauges, etc. There are various types of uh, dial gauges used for uh, measuring small linear uh, deviations, like this. This is a plunger dial gauge. Plunger dial gauge, uh, this consists of a plunger actually, there is a movement of the plunger. If is, there is a small movement in the plunger is registered in the dial. This is a plunger dial gauge. And the other type of dial gauge is the lever dial gauge. Somebody call it puppy dial also. This lever dial gauge also used for measuring very small type of deviations or depressions in, in terms of microns. So this is called a liver dial gauge. The other one, other sort of uh, dial gauge is the dial gauge. This is the bore dial gauge. This is used in uh, with uh, uh, a dial uh, plunger dial gauge. Plunger dial gauge is fitted here in this drum, and the small bore, small um, diameter of a hole or, or bore are measured like this. By using always, you should have a micrometer for setting the. Uh, first dimension, what is the diameter of the bore you have to set first by uh, turning the bezel and zero the dial. Then you are used. This I am just uh, explaining uh, how to use a dial gauge and what are the three types of dial gauges commonly used in engineering. And uh, next we will go. This is a universal length measuring machine. This is a metroscope used for measuring various type of. Uh, uh, linear dimensions uh, uh, of thread plug gauge, thread ring gauge uh, and dial gauges, plant plane ring gauges, plank plug gauges, even you can calibrate a micrometer also by using this ULM. Okay, this RAM movement, this RAM movement is uh, uh, up to 100 mm and the total range of this ULM is 300 mm. Okay, this there is a DRO here, the movement of the RAM is being registered here, it is shown here in terms of digital readout and the least count is uh, uh, 0.1 micron okay engineer can you zero it you can zero it by operating the software like this and if there is a small movement in the ram that will be shown in the that you can read in the DRO yeah, this small movement and there are, there are lot many attachments to attach here here this portion is empty now so uh, according to the instrument which is under calibration we have to fit various type of attachments accessories here and this portion will be uh, complete that time then only you can use this uh, ULM this is the way we calibrate the plunger dial gauge. Plunger dial gauge is mounted with the ULM with the, some special attachments. And the software digital readout is zeroed here. Okay, now this here, here DUC, here also zero and the digital DRO also zero. Now incrementally we bring, we change this spindle so that by operating this uh, micrometer you can move the spindle very slowly so that it is reading now 10 that means the discount is 10 micron so it is a 100 microns 100 micron then what is the deviation here you can see here it is 0 .0, 0 0.0.1001 that means there is a deviation of only 0.1 micron so this way now we go to the next measuring point by turning the micrometer here and see in DUC just bring the pointer to uh, 20 the division the 10th one, one ten, one ten, one twentieth of the dial so what it is it is a discount is 0 0.01 mm so 
after 20 divisions it will be 0.2 uh, 0.2 mm and what is the deviation here you can see here it is 0.1999 that means 0.1 micron again but it is in the another direction this way we calibrate the dial gauges for the for its entire range and what is the error registered is given in the report this is the way the plunger dial gauge is calibrated like this in the same position we can mount a diver dial gauge and board dial gauge and the calibration can be done by using a ulm Okay, you have seen now uh, how a dial gauge is uh, calibrated by using a ULM, Universal Measuring Machine. This way we can calibrate lever dial gauge and board dial gauge by using this uh, uh, Universal Lecto Measuring Machines. And in the next episode we will come uh, with, a, uh, with, a, with a explaining the how to calibrate other measuring instruments, other um, type of dial gauges by using ULMs. Thank you very much for watching our channel. Please uh, subscribe our channel, like and forward to your colleagues also so that they also will get some knowledge about this methodology and calibration. If you, if anybody want to know more about the calibration of uh, measuring instruments by using um, ULM and the operation of ULMs, uh, please do contact us. Our uh, contact details are there in the description. Thank you very much. Thank you very much.